What's up everybody? In today's video I will show you how to actually upgrade your um, RAM module without having to pay anybody to do the job for you. It's quite an easy task. Uh, however, many people think of it as something difficult, but it's not really that difficult. So, um, today I got my new RAM module delivered from Korea. It's a Hynix 4GB module um, 1600 Hz and I will be installing this so I already got two modules in this laptop but they're working at different speeds which means um, it's not working as dual channel so first then turn over your laptop and it's usually quite a good idea to put something underneath it just to like keep it from moving or you know scratching the surface if there is something underneath uh, so let's put this pink cloth <laughs> underneath just in case um, then you gotta remove your battery because you don't want to be touching um, your laptop's components while well, there is a battery and maybe there's a case of you frying something and then just touch something metal from the laptop to discharge yourself you know just in case um, after that you gotta, you gotta remove the back lid from your laptop that's pretty straightforward you just start unscrewing every single screw on the back cover Screw everything. Uh, make sure you keep all your screws together and don't lose them. And if you encounter different types of screws, just put them in a different place so that you know which screw goes um, <coughs> at the correct place because um, many times you can find yourself like putting screws at different holes uh, while, the, while that hole needs a shorter or longer screw and then you have to unscrew all the other ones and put them back together which is a pain in the ass really so do your housekeeping and just keep them tidy Uh, just for the record, I've opened this laptop before. I think that's it now. So let's try taking off the cover. Just carefully, don't break anything. I just don't want to like force it. Yeah, it's going on. Yeah, there it is. Pretty easy, huh? So, it is not as terrifying as it looks. It's it's fairly simple. You don't want to like mess with anything. You just want to find the RAM, the RAM sockets. So, we got the hard drive, battery holder. Um, CPU fan and that actually that's the hard drive that's the DVD reader and writer so that's a heatsink and what's left is the RAM sockets which are over here as you can see I got two RAM modules because I have installed another RAM module before just make, make sure you discharge yourself again before touching anything um, and I'm gonna take off that module take it out yep so as you can see this is a one gigabyte uh, RAM module I was actually bottlenecking my 
my system with that shit to one module. So then I decided to buy an identical module to the original one that my laptop had from eBay, which cost me like 14 quid, that will equal like 20 dollars, I think, something like that. And <coughs> all you gotta do is insert that new RAM module into the second socket, as you can see. So, um, if you're only using one RAM module, make sure you install it closest, install it uh, on the socket closest to the motherboard, because that's socket one. And then the secondary socket is the one that's like closer to you, closer to the surface of the laptop, which means further, further away from the motherboard. And all right, so now for the for the cool stuff, you gotta make sure you insert your RAM just like into the slot. Maybe let me zoom in a bit here. Uh, that looks just about right. So make sure you get your RAM module, and then stick it carefully in the socket. Make sure all the legs. Are fully inserted and then all you gotta do is just like push it a little bit with your finger and wait for that clipping sound yeah if you if you if you hear that clicking sound then it's in make sure those those two metal bits from the sides uh, grab your module and that should be it really it's installed now all you gotta do is Put the cover back on and put, put the screws in the correct place, screw them up and then do the testing. Alright guys, so uh, let's fire up the system and see if uh, the RAM is recognized. Okay, let's, let's go into the BIOS now. Uh, alert the amount of the amount of system memory has changed to continue press F1 to change setup option press F2 um, push, I guess let's press F2 alright so let's a little bit let's down the exposure a little bit zoom in alright so um, if we go to system information, we can see that the new memory installed is 8 gigabytes, which is fucking cool. Yeah, 8 gigabytes is much better than 4 gigabytes, and it's also dual channel, as you can see, dual interleaf. So, yeah, um, that concludes everything. So, this is how you upgrade your laptop's memory. It doesn't matter if it's DDR2 or DDR3, um, it's the same principle. So, thank you for watching and bye!